Hi, everybody. George Bliss out here. 2021 Guaranteed Great Field. This is the Chicago Police Department versus Chicago Fire. I'm going to give you the lineup. We'll be back with you in a second. But here's the starting lineups for the Fire Department. Dakota Pasarchik starting at second base. Dan Pedretti, shortstop. Tony Budvitas, their captain, outfield. Todd Shuchuk will be playing first base this year. He's wearing number 29. Ryan Maladic, wearing number four this year, playing third base. Lauren Turrentine, number 17. Frank DeFino is going to be catching. He's wearing zero. Miguel Morales, he's the designated hitter, number 42. Art Ross, number 24, the left fielder. Ed Cochaney is the DH. We're now going to have a national anthem. We'll be back right after this. Okay, here we go. George Bliss here in the booth of my buddy sitting next to me, the PA announcer, Clay Whiteley. George Bliss here. Here's the first pitch to the visiting fire team. And this is, of course, Dakota Pisarek. He's a second baseman. So here's Dakota. Takes the pitch from Laflamme. That's low. Big crowd here today. John Catanzaro's close to me. We'll try to grab him later. Beautiful, beautiful. Scoreboard. There's a fly ball to right field. It might go in the seats. And it just does get foul. So Pisarek, number 33. who's been playing for the fire department for a while. Playing a great position at second base, key middle infield position. Laflamme is the pitcher for the police. Number 50. He pitches just high. Two and one. No outs, just beginning here. There's a shot into left field for the hit to Macias. Is that Macias out and left? He takes the, the ball and two bounces. That was a shot. Actually, he got 27 on left field tonight. <laughs> so we'll get 27's number here in a minute. Here's Danny Pedretti. And Chicago helicopters coming over overhead. Number 15 is Pedretti. And uh, just a, a minor quick reaction as Chicago helicopter comes over the top. <laughs> and they wave to us. So we wave to the helicopter as they do a fly over very close on top of us almost. And they do a big 90 degree bank right above home plate so there it goes the helicopter all right so we return to action with danny pedretti here is uh clay whiteley next to me he's having fun with the uh, announcer there's another pitch outside And a second helicopter, the second helicopter is coming over for the police and fire. So we got two copters tonight, Clay. Yep. Two, flyovers. two flyovers. That's a, that's an unusual. They just came from a rescue on the lake. That's why they're a little late. So I want to thank Clay for that. That's why they're a little, they're a little behind. Okay, yeah, you got it. And if you want to say something, brother, just pick up that microphone right there. No right, problem. Thank you. All right, so man on first. Just starting. Here's the pitch from Laflamme. There's a strike. One and one after a very short delay. Check that one and two. P-E-D-R-E-T-T-I. Wearing number 15, Danny Pedretti. And he is the shortstop. George, the guy on first, um, Dakota Pacerik, yeah, is actually um, played a little college baseball. He's one of my candidates actually a few years ago. He's assigned a truck 26 on uh, Chicago's west side. Uh, does a little pitching as well, and um, put some new blood into our uh, lineup. Oh, that's great. Goes down. Yeah, 
So strike three there on Pedretti. Here's their captain, Tony Budvitis. Betting third, number 18, Tony Budvitis. You know a lot about this guy, don't you? I've, uh, I've shared plenty of nights with this guy right here. Yeah. I've shared plenty of nights here with this guy. This boom, boom. Tony Budvitis. Yeah. <laughs> My roommate for many, many years uh, when I was still lacing him up for the bravest. Uh -huh. um, him and I, besides Todd Shuchuk, were also the, the two longest standing members that were active on the team until uh, last year, and I, I gave him the crown, so... Uh, hell of a hitter, hell of a ball player, hell of a personality, I'll tell you that. There's a shot, the deep left. That's deep. Way deep. It's, it's going to go in. It's, 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 it bounces up the fence. It looked like it went over. It goes all the way within a foot of a home run there. Well, as he gets older, you know, warning track power, as they say. My good friend Tony has sent one out of Wrigley. He was hoping he would send one here tonight. And, and this guy, Todd, 29, could do the same thing. So just for a second there, because I'm kind of low, uh, that ball looked like it was gone. That was a high shot over, way over for the double. So second and third here. There's Todd, Shuchuk, big lefty, first baseman. Todd, one of the only uh, guys I played with that has hit one out of here. And uh -huh. was, we, were, we were actually playing, uh, we were still playing wood bat then. And uh, yeah. it was the uh, September 11th Memorial game, matter of fact. Uh, in walk-off dramatic style, wow. Todd put one into the bleachers in uh, right field here. Isn't oh, that amazing? Awesome. What a, uh, it was a wonderful experience. I, uh, he's a hell of a ball player. Plays at every different level. Um, just, uh, just a magnificent ball player and handles the glove pretty well at first as well. He does. And we're at a major league park here, the home of the White Sox. And today, coincidentally, the Chicago White Sox, who live right in this very park, right where we're sitting, did did clinch the American League Central title. How about that? That is something. I tell you what, I uh, couldn't be more excited. The team's got a lot of energy um, going into the playoffs. It's going to be something. It's going to be exciting. It's finally nice to see some new life here in the uh, in the old Southside ballpark. Yeah, I wish they were in town today. I would invite all the guys over if they had a day off or something. But because of the travel, we, we do have the park available to us here in the city. So it's a wonderful job by the people that run Guaranteed Rate. Time out by Todd. Todd's a patient guy. He's a definitely a uh, cerebral assassin there at the plate. <laughs> I like that. Cerebral assassin. Todd Shuchuk, number 29. He swings and foul tips it. They're definitely going to pepper Todd if uh, with breaking balls. I don't know if LaFlame knows that too much about him, but uh, you put him anything uh, middle in, he's going to put some damage on it. Yeah, let's see if you can guess. I mean, there's two basics. You, you, you guess at this a breaking pitch. We're coming with heat. And let's two, see two, I'm not getting it. anywhere near him still. Gotcha. First base open. There's a ground ball. The flame takes it on a bounce, and they cannot move up. So they do watch. Runner, so Todd. Job done. Yeah, uh, yeah, bounces out. Nice pitch by Laflamme. Got it low and inside. Number four, the third base. Here's Brian Maladic. He's playing third base. Let's see what Brian can do here. He's got two outs. Come on. There's a ball to the right side. It does get through. So here comes one run, and they are going to hold Tony. No. Nice throw in from right field. So, but Vitus didn't want to take a chance, and I think he would have been thrown out clearly. But the single does count, and the run does score. So, Maladic, your third baseman from the fire. He gets the big hits through the infield, and that, that's a squeaker, but it, it works in the lineup, folks. So here's Turrentine. Lauren Turrentine. So they nice do score Brian one. To, yeah. uh, sorry. Nice of Brian to go to the right side on that pitch, um, take that the opposite way, give him what he gave him. Lauren here is actually one of my candidates as well. Funny story about Lauren, his dad... Uh, 22 years ago was my father in the uh, in fire academy. Oh my gosh. They say it's uh, <laughs> 3 million people here, but everybody knows each other. Clay. All right, so one and one here. One run in for Red. There's I think it's big for the Bravest to get out of a lead in front of these guys early. I think that's going to settle our pitcher down and, and give us a little confidence going into the bottom half of the inning. I think we may have a little surprise. The pitcher for fire this year is a, a kid, J John Kravitz, and we'll talk about him in a few minutes. 
I hear he's quite a player from uh, the college ranks and whatnot. Here's Learn Turrentine, number 17. Beautiful scoreboard out here that our folks at uh, Guaranteed Rate are providing. Uh, Mr. Reinsdorf and everybody there. There's one right down the middle for the strike. So three outs, one run in. We'll be back right after this. So we're back here, bottom first. one nothing as Fire Department did score a wonderful run there. Well done, manufactured run there by the big hit to the right side. Maladic with the big hit. So leadoff batter now for the police is Alex Newfeld. He's a center fielder. Where's number one? We do want to talk about the pitcher for the fire department. This this good guy is supposed to be very good. John Kravitz, do you know anything about the pitcher? Uh, as a matter of fact, he um, actually another one of my candidates. Number 44, the, uh, okay, I got gotcha. you. He's about two years on the job here. He's a Mount Carmel graduate. Okay. Um, I believe he played some high A ball with the Blue Jays organization. He wow. was a, uh, a, a very good pitcher down at U of I as well. So that's Kravitz. And he delivers the new field. Swing and a nice picky pitch. Oh, first guy is struck out. Now batting number 14, the designated hitter, Kevin Sweeney. So Kevin Sweeney, the DH, batting second here. Nice first bat there as uh, the pitcher for red. Got some nice pitches there. So let's see what Sweeney can do. Uh, Kravitz not overpowering stuff, but he's got a lot of movement on his fastball. Uh, a lot of different variations of it. Good cutter from what I hear. I've never faced him. I've seen him throw several times. There's a ground ball to second. Picked up on the short hop. Over to Todd. So out number two. So two quick outs, which is really nice for Kravitz, who uh, we just explained is one of the new young stars on the fire department team, number 44. Now okay. batting number 31. Right fielder, David so here's David Matthews, number 31, the right fielder. I think quick outs is the name of the game here, George, for the bravest. They get on and off the field and get those bats heated up again. I, I couldn't agree more. It's so important to, to throw a zero at somebody. So here's Dave Matthews, right fielder. He's a big lefty. Dave's a big boy out there. Yeah. First pitch is the ball. Beautiful scoreboards here. We can see the lineups, and they help us out here because we are looking at by the seat of our pants here and do, having a lot of fun doing it. Come on, come on. There's the ball up the middle for the hit. So 31, Matthews gets a single right through the box. So they do have one. Here's Huber, the cleanup hitter, Kyle Huber, the first baseman. Another lefty wearing number 19, George Bliss here. With Clay Whiteley. Clay is doing double duty as he's doing the PA. <laughs> See, sitting right next to me, so he's going back and forth. So Matthew's on with two outs. Here's Huber. There's a ball to right field. Deep, deep, way deep, and caught on the warning track out there, right field by Barry. Barry catches that ball in the warning track for the third out. That was Great a classic. play. Great play. New stadium. Nice move there. That's big for a right fielder off a lefty's bat there. So two big balls so far in this game by police and fire. George Bliss, 1-0. We'll be back. And we go to the top of the second inning here at Great Rate Field. Here's Defino. Frank Defino, the catcher. He's wearing zero. Swings at the first pitch, straight up in the air. In comes the first baseman for Police. Number 19 grabs it. Nice catch there. Of course, that's Huber over at first base that grabbed that high Major League Papa. So Huber with the put out. Here's Miguel Morales, number 42. He is the DH. So far, one out here in the second. The Flame pitching well. Both teams very strong this year with pitching. Big number righty here, 42. There's a, there's a strike on the lower 
corner, low and outside, but caught it. One out here, just getting started. Ground ball to the shortstop. Fires a bullet over to first. Four to Huber for the out. So that's out number two. That was Morales grounding out. So here's Art Ross going to bat next. Number 24. Here's Art Ross. He's playing left field tonight. Got an open stance. He swings at the first pitch. It's sliced down the right field line. Oh, almost caught by Huber as he goes into the stands. Oh, that's a classic. Huber crashes into the stands down the right field line, and Major Leagues has put up a net here, so he literally got caught by the net. <laughs> that's a first. <laughs> That's a net play. So Huber went all the way down, actually got his glove on it, and Huber went into the into the netting. That's Huber, the first baseman. That's clearly not the first fence he's hopped like that. Yeah. That's right. So that's uh that's a heck of a deal. Here's Art Ross. There's a strike, so we're up to strike two. And the flame is working down and away so far. Beautiful fall night here in Chicago. Oh, he takes it right down the middle. He knew it for the third out. So, no, no runs at any. We'll be back right after this. So, we're back here. This is going to be Sean Moy batting for the police. One nothing fire department they scored one in the top of the first we're in the bottom of the second here at guaranteed rate number 22 Sean is playing third base tonight Danny Potempa from the University of Iowa will be next Timeout as the pitcher changes, exchanges balls for a new ball, checking to see if everything's okay. And yeah, it's fine. Deep roster, George, for the finest this year. Um, a lot of new names, a lot of new faces. Um, looks like some ball players we got out here actually quite a bit. We got uh, some of the older guys and some of the newer guys. I know it's good to see some young blood out here keeping this event alive. Yeah, you can see here the roster is, is deep as heck. Let's see what Moy does here. Ground ball to third. Maledic fires the first. Oh, safe. Safe as the ball was arced over, kind of not thrown with high velocity, and Todd couldn't handle that. So it does get an infield hit there. So Moy is on. Here's big Danny Potempa, number 39. What a great, great guy this is. I remember him playing in the Big Ten at uh, University of Iowa. Number 39, Potempa. So let's see what Dan can do. He's capable of crushing the ball. So two guys that played high-level ball. Kravitz, Potempa. Righty versus righty. Power versus power here. I'll tell you, this is really something. This is a big challenge at bat right here. I told you that nasty breaking ball by Kravitz is deceiving to those big guys. I think that was a cutter. I'm not sure, but it, it dropped. It's two strikes. But Tempa said, oh boy, that ball dropped. Man on first. Man on first. Here we go. Little in. Oh, curve ball broke. But Temple buckled a little bit, but held in there for the ball. Looked like he was going to Don Baylor that off his uh, thigh there for a second. Yeah, I thought so for sure. Don Baylor, for you folks that are listening, in 2021 was an old <laughs> player that used to take a lot of balls off the old arm and leg. Don Baylor. As there, there goes the runner. It was a hit and run. But Temple was swinging, but fouled it away. So. Hit and run. That'll get guys moving on base. Yeah, the hit and run was was working well there, but Danny Potemp couldn't 
get it straightened out. But nice swing there, nice start out there by Moy. So you got Moy Patempa in, in the field of view now with Kravitz pitching. Little triangle here of action. Patempa with a crouch, number 39. He swings, does one over the top of our head, and it is foul in the crowd. So right over the top of us, and if it hits me on the head, we're in trouble. Straight back on that foul ball, uh, George. Yeah, he, he was on it, as yep. they say. He was there. So this is a game of fractions of inches, not inches, fractions. Looking for that ground ball. Yeah. He's going. Oh, go. Patepa does swing and does get a piece of it. So he did give himself up there. So Patepa, nice. Nice, nice way to just stay in the box. Yeah. Good heads up swing there. Even though... So they got a hit and run going. I think Vince Macias wants wants him to start. Obviously, he feels Moyes quick enough to get the jump. And he's going to test Defino, the catcher. Hey, Frankie time. Defino, we're going to good check his to arm. Take a look. Yeah. That's twice he's been off on the pitch. All right, let's see if catcher what happens here. Potempa foul tips it. Kind of a half swing. Actually caught the handle of his bat and it did bounce off to the right side. So he does kind of get lucky there with a little he's in excuse pure, me uh, swing, yeah. Pure protect mode here now. Right? He is. Beautiful, beautiful fall night in Chicago. September 23rd for historical reasons, 2021. Fall just came in, I think, the day before. So weather's beautiful, about 70 degrees. Potempa swings another one straight behind us, way, way back, about 30 rows. George, absolute gorgeous night out here tonight. Perfect. This I'm looking perfect for, it's got to be in weather. the 70s or something. Easy. Perfect baseball weather. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking. Something away here. Try to get into that right side of the field. That's Clay on the commentary. Thank him for joining me tonight. Way high. Yeah, it's been up there a long time. It's only two to two. So he's taking his time in the box. He's wearing them out. Danny Potempa, P-O-T-E-M-P-A, Potempa. He's the D-H tonight for the police. There's a swing and a miss and a nice curve ball there. Nice curve ball. Beautiful, beautiful pitch there. Yeah. Had him guessing. Wow, beautiful pitch by Kravitz. So here's Vince Macias. Here's their captain. Now batting number 30 for left field. Vince Macias. Here's Vince, who has taken the responsibility of running this. Done a wonderful, wonderful job organizing it. I was on the phone with him several times. And the guys got it together. I had him on WGN Radio the other day. He's just well read, well understood. He gets it. He's a charitable, wonderful police officer in the city of Chicago. Vince Macias, wearing number 30. Now Vince and I first had our. I remember he first came up on the finest uh, a few years ago when I was when I was still in between the lines out there. Yeah. And uh, he was actually QB one of the uh, of the fire or the I'm sorry the police department's football team. Oh wow, I didn't yeah. know this. So he yeah. does it all. This guy. Well, he, uh, yeah, he's definitely the. I, I'm not going to call him the Deion Sanders of but. our uh, of our generation, but he is yeah. definitely a pure athlete and and more importantly a hell of a guy. Well, he's got two strikes on him now. We'll see what he does here. The kid from Mount Carmel. Let's see if he comes close. I doubt it, but I'm not up there guessing. Macias, First 30. Is going. Swings, ball up the middle. Trouble, trouble. Scoop. Out at first, but he was going on the pitch. So Moy made it to second quickly, and the infield, the middle infielder, chose to throw it to first, and Todd got it for the out. So they did get the run to move up. They acted like kind of a bunch. So. Vince with a nice swing there, but caught up the middle, but quickly over to first. So Macias with the ground out, but the sacrifice. Here's 36. He 
So this is Brandon Smith. Add him to the bottom. All right. Yeah, so we're going to Marino Cantu. This is going to be Brandon Smith. They did make a change right before the beginning of the game. So Cantu will move to the bottom. It is uh, the game rules that the police and fire have set out. So 36 is, of course, Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith playing second base tonight. Right. I read what's put in front of me, George. Oh, yeah, well, they, they do change a lot. There's no, it's, that's guys what coming it off nice. work. I, yeah. I totally understand. Things happen. Like you said, there was somebody doing a, uh, a helicopter run on the lakefront, couldn't get hurt for the beginning of the game. So there you have it. That's a fact. So. Yeah. So here's I'll Brandon. Second, I'll get you the second time around, Brandon. Yeah. Three, three. Ball in the dirt. Man gets the third. So... Catcher for red, Frankie DeFino decided he better smother it. 44 pitching to zero. Kravitz. John Kravitz, K-R-A-V-E-T-Z. That's a ball in the dirt. Nothing happening though. As the catcher for fire does cover it up very quickly. Way to hop back there as the catcher. It's yeah. The toughest position. Did you ever catch at a high level? I did. I caught. It's I'm, a killer, isn't it? It's the worst. It's the worst. It, it takes the bat out of your hand, too. It uh, really does. Because you're focused? Oh, it just it takes yeah. your legs, everything. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough spot. Yeah, not many great catchers hitting Man, that's these days. Four. And there's ball four for Smith. So Smith walks. So first and third, two outs. Here's Munez. This is going to be their shortstop, number 16. So 0 and 1 here, two outs, 1 nothing. The bravest. Beautiful night for baseball. 21st annual. There's a guy running second, and he got a big jump, so they let it go. Not a stolen base, just a, you know, fielder's choice, basically. And the runner does move up to second. So second and third now. A hit does score two. If Munoz can get it through the infield, we'll see. Brave is in a little trouble here. Good speed aboard on second and third. Anything to the outfield with a good jump with two outs. We're going to get two right. runs here. And they in and out quickly. There's a ground ball. Can you get it? Oh, great play that second baseman over to first. Oh, for the catch, Todd with the great scoop. And fire does bail out of that inning. So, no runs that inning. We'll be back right after this. All right, as Clay Whiteley, the personal uh, announcer here for the game, has said, Batting, number 23, Eddie Cochaney, the designated hitter, number 23. So the flame pitching, Cochaney, K-O-C-H-A-N-E-Y, batting for fire. Beautiful, beautiful red uniforms, and I mean beautiful. And we want to thank Tony Budvitas for stopping by the booth, and of course Vince Macias and all the guys. There's a ground ball right back to LaFlamme. And a simple put out to Huber. So a one two stop right to the pitcher there, the quick one. So we go to the top of the order. Here's Pisaric. Dakota Pisaric, the second baseman. 1 0. Top of three. Guaranteed rate. Swing and a miss on a slow curve by. The flame. The flame works quickly. There's a swing. Soft fly ball to right field down the line. Oh, just does fall into foul territory by the tarpaulin out there, and the right fielder could not get to it. So, new life here for Dakota, number 3 3. Pasaric 
from our angle, just foul. We know that first baseman over there, he can move after his uh, hurdle of the fence yeah, he, over you're there talking on the right about Huber, side. Yeah. yeah, Huber had a nice. Hubes. He, Hubes had a beat on that. He did. In the dirt. One and two, one out. Pacera's got sneaky power. He gets the bat head of the bat around quick, and with uh, the flame, the way he throws. We can turn that around quick. Foul ball sharp on the left side there. Pacera got ahead of it. He did, and he does have a very quick bat. These wooden bats, I'll tell you, they're very live today. We have still wind. I'm looking at the flags. There's no wind one way or another. That's why Bud Vitus hit a long shot, a real long ball, and uh, these guys got some power on these teams. So I would love to see a home run here tonight. Somebody's going to do it eventually here. So Laflame with a one and two count delivers. There's a ball, 2-2. Two, two. Nice idea, nice idea there. Yeah, he's not going to put anything down the middle there. He's obviously... The Flames got some experience too, no doubt, in the, in the at the high level. Dakota singled the right, uh, left his first at bat. Right. And that'll take oh, him down. That'll take him down. That's a big curve ball, and he knew it. So, boy, great pitching there by number 50 for the now finest. There's 15, Pedretti. So the Flame struck out. Pacerek there on a beautiful breaking pitch. Ground ball, there's a hit to left on the first string by 15. So a nice single, no chance of getting that. That was in the hole between third and short. And here's our guy, Tony Bud Vitus. Now batting number 18, Tony Bud Vitus. So, but Vitus last time almost went yard. It literally hit the base of the wall. I thought it was out. It literally just missed by inches. Let's see what Tony does here. Down and away for ball one. Way, way outside. Nowhere near Bud Vitus. The Flames going to be careful here. With two outs, I can't see him throwing anything good to him over the plate here. Correct. Yeah. There's a ground ball nice to third. Shot there. Throw to first. Nice play. Scooped up by Huber for the third out. Nice defense there. Great play there. all the way around. Good you scoop. So that's it for this half inning. Still one nothing. We'll be back. Okay. okay, we're back here. Bottom of third, Jacob Pagan. Swings at the first pitch. Ground ball to third. Fires to first. And some broken lumber there, scoop, I think. Scooped up by Todd again. One more for out number one. I told you Todd was going to get that ball. Yeah, he's going to scoop it. So that was Pagan on the first pitch, grounding out third to first for the Can't, quick out. Pagan looks like a catcher, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He does. Okay, here's Cantu wearing uniform number two. Now number two, Marino Cantu. So let's see what Marino can do here. He's a lefty. Where's number two? He bunts right back to the middle of the pitcher. Fires to Todd at first for out, but nice bunt and a good run there, a good close play. So out number two. Now batting number one, the center fielder, Alex. Neufeld. That brings us to the top of the order, Alec Newfeld. So two quick outs again here for the fire department team. Kravitz rolling along here pretty well. N-E-U-F-E-L-D, Alex Newfeld, number one. He swings, fouls it back. Right in front of our camera here for Twitch. Fortunately, it doesn't hit the camera. Uh -oh. Foul 
fouled it off his foot. He took that one off his foot. Yeah, so Newfield fouls one off his foot. Wow. Check swing right down into the foot. <laughs> He's tough. He can handle it. Of course, the Chicago's finest, bravest, doesn't matter. They're strong. We've been hit with worse. Oh, you can say that again. Two and two. Two outs. Bottom of third. Police have the bases empty. See if they can get something going. There's a swing and a ground ball up the middle. It does sneak in for the hit. So the hit for Alec. Man on first for two outs. So just held in there. Got the ball right at the middle. Past the pitcher. Squeaked through short and second. So this is going to be Sweeney. Now number 14, the designated hitter, Kevin Sweeney. <clears throat> Another two out base hit. Yeah. So here's Kevin, 14. He's DHing temporarily tonight. They do switch guys around quite a bit. We'll try to give you the position changes as they come about. There's a swing and a foul ball into the seats, the new seats which have been built here temporarily for, I guess, the uh, MLB people because the Sox will be in the playoffs here as of today. So congratulations, White Sox. And I believe they're going to play Houston in the first game. So kind of replay of the World Series some years ago. Nice pitch. It was a nice curveball for the strike. So we did not like that. Felt it was inside. 0-2, two outs, got a little room here. Yep. Alex Newfeld over at first. He's got a big lead. Good lead there, yeah. Go. There he goes. Ah, hit and run and does follow it off. So a nice swing there. I know Vince Macias is trying some cool things here tonight. He's trying to get something going, and uh, I agree. I like the aggressive hit and run concept here. It's nothing like it. When it's, when it's executed, it's beautiful to watch. Definitely showing the youth on the uh, CPD side with a lot of a lot of moving parts out there in the field. We're a uh, Bravest are a slower team. So. <laughs> but but smarter maybe. You know, you got doesn't some necessarily veterans. Mean, yeah. doesn't, mean, doesn't mean we can't go. We just decide not to go. Right. It's only 30 yards. It's 90 it. feet. Come on. Illinois Sports Facilities Authority. Wonderful people hosting us tonight at guaranteed rate. There's a ball that's low. One and two. I see so many familiar faces here tonight from years past. Some of the retired people from fire, retired from police. Having a great time. Well, There's another hit and run, but he's, he just, just struggled yeah. to get the bat on there. You're right. So he swung, half swung, Sweeney did. Just did get a piece of that ball to stay in play. So the hit and runs, they're trying it. They're, if they know that it's out of the box, they swing anyway. They just get something on it. Definitely trying to put guys in motion. And unfortunately, with two strikes, it puts your hitters in a tough position. Oh, yeah. Kravitz has been working ahead quite a bit all game. There's a shot to right field. It's going to drift foul. And, foul. and it's way down the right field line. No chance of anybody getting that. Sweeney, if they get to it, will be followed by Dave Matthews. Here's the pitch, ground ball, there's a hit. First and third, yes. So, with the guy going, he easily makes it to third. So nice hit there, that's gonna bring up Matthew. So, they executed perfectly on that ball. So, please have first and third. Dave Matthews. So here's Dave Matthews, number 31. Let's see if Dave can get something going, he's got the lefty. Anything to the right side, definitely going to score the man from third. Anything in the gap, the two outs, you never know. Maybe we can get them all the way around. 
and first. Another big bat at the plate with second base there. Can't imagine they're not going to have the green light. Good speed at third. Be looking to get this hitter here. So, so far, one of the first challenges of the night for the fire, number 44 pitching. Let's see if you get out of it. Runner does go. They do throw second. Fake throw to Kravitz on the signal. Did not go from third, so did not bite on the, uh, what do they call that play, first and third? It's, uh, you know, it's a it, it's a planned play. I'm sure that's what his visit yeah. was about. Hey, I'm just going to come back hard to you, make right. it look like we're going through, right. and uh, see if we can get him hung out to dry at third. Yeah. Of course, third base runner knew that. Second, third, there's a foul tip to the right side, into the stands, bounced over the dugout, fascia. So, again... 44. Kravitz. A lot, a lot of room to play here for yeah. uh, Kravitz. First base is open, but I don't think he's going to. Well, there's a swing. Very major league high Deep pop dirt. up. Right fielder coming in. Caught out there by the right fielder. So they're out of it again. It's still 1 0 out here. Fire department's in the lead. George Bliss. Clay Whiteley will be back after this. Well, guess who's in the box? One of my favorites. The first baseman, number 29, Todd Shuchuk. And he steps in here in the top of four. They do have a one nothing lead. Fire department over police so far here. Top of four. George Bliss, Clay Whiteley. Oh, my. I'm taking a look around, and the, the park is... About 80% of the lower deck is filled, so I'm going to say easily 15,000 people somewhere in that range tonight. Let's see if Todd can get a hold of something here. Number 29, we talked about him before, playing first base. Plays all kinds of ball. Guess what? He takes four straight pitches for the walk. Four straight pitches, avoiding the big lefty. I think so, maybe. Here's Maledic. He got a hit earlier in the game that was crucial. So Bud Vitus is courtesy. Is that Bud Vitus over there? Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of a courtesy runner, so to speak. Yeah, we often uh, will we'll, uh, have the courtesy runners for the, for the, for the older fellas. Keeps, right. them, keeps them on the field a little bit longer. Um, stops potential injuries. Correct, yeah, 100%. Maledic swings, nice swing, doesn't doesn't get it all, but a big cut there. You nice. mentioned catching before. That'll catching and uh, having a uh, pinch runner every time you get on base is a is a blessing, it's a godsend. Sure, yeah. we do it in softball, the game that I love. You have to. Yeah. I mean, heck, guys have to go to work tomorrow. Right. People forget that. <laughs> There's Another. a shot by Maledic up the middle. It's his second base hit of the night. Yeah. But Vitus so, looking to go to third. He's going to hold up. So. First and second, clean, two. First a walk to Big Todd, uh, Tony running for him, and now the big hit by Maledic. So first and second, no out. Here's your center fielder. Let's see if the third base coach, Quaid, is getting uh, any type of signal. Move these runners over, right. playing a little small ball. Solid hitter on deck. Frank DeFino struck out his first at bat. Mm -hmm. Bunt squared away. Squared around a bunt, didn't get it down. Looks like Cantu has gone to second base. Cantu's at second now defensively for police. Number two. Huber still at first. He's pinched in a little. Here comes the bunt. Pops it up in the air. And Huber does come and grab it. So Huber comes in. Number 19, the first baseman, covers it nicely. Could not get it down. Changes the dynamic of this inning now. 
It does. Here's Defino. With one out. Now batting number zero, the catcher, Frank Defino. Frankie Defino here. Beautiful picture up on the scoreboard in center field there of Frank. So first and second, one out. Here's Defino. Yep. Let's see what Frank can do. Oh, that oh. hits him. That hits him. He seems okay. And like most catchers, yeah. takes it and keeps going. <laughs> Thank God for the helmets. It hit him pretty hard, right? The back of the neck uh, on the helmet, of course. The helmet did fly off. But he's okay. He's not angry. I there would be a little now. perturbed. <laughs> so base is loaded here because of the hit by batter. Hit by pitch. Check that. Here's Morales now. So QB1, Vince Macias out to visit the mound. Sacks are juiced. One out. Good contact hitter in Morales. I believe he hit it back up the middle last last at bat. So so Frank Defino was hit by the pitch. He's okay. Bases are loaded. This is Miguel Morales, number 42. He's their DH. So you want the DH now, right? I mean, this is a perfect situation with a one out. Now batting number 42, Miguel Morales. Let's bring it to you. Top of fourth inning. One nothing, but Fire does have the bags loaded. Way real high. Way out of the zone. For ball one. Ball one high to Miguel. He said Miguel, a good contact here. I feel like he's going to put the ball in play. He's had a great season so far. There's a ball. Check that. That was a strike. One, one and, one and one. one generous plate outside there. Yeah. I'm not up there, though, so. Well, it looks like a ball to me, but what the heck do I know? Looks like we got the corners in, double play depth. Two and one. Nice pitch there, way to lay off. All right. Miguel looking for something to drive anywhere right now. We're trying to get push one run across. That's a strike. Took that right down the middle. Two and two. Two and two, he's got some work to do. I think anything close, you're going to be swinging. Clay, don't you think? He does swing. There's a ball through center field straight away. Caught out there, and here comes the runner, That's the throw home. Out! Tony Budvitas tagged out by Pagan. The throw from Alex Newfeld in center field. And he does throw out Budvitas. Wow! Unbelievable throw. Just not deep enough. Double cut. They got the nice uh, relay there from uh, home to, to uh, from second to home, and uh, but Vitus with good speed still unable to score. As they say, perfect throw, perfect bounce. Pagan puts a tag down on Tony Budvitas. Big action here. We'll be back right after this. George Bliss here. What a play that was! Bottom of four, one to nothing. The Bravest still lead. That's fire over the finest. But that last half inning, a throw into home plate. And Bud Vitus, who was running, was thrown out from center field to catcher. An incredible play of the night so far. Beautiful action out here at guaranteed rate. This is why it's so much fun to do this. So, 1-0 here. Beautiful. Knight here's a long fly foul ball. High, deep, but I think it's playable. It's be foul. Oh, no, it does! It does hit the net. That's a tough play. Yeah, that's a tough play. High sky. That's up Barry. against the fence. Yeah, that's Barry out there in right, by the way. Just a long strike. Yeah. So Kyle Huber, their big lefty, sent it way down, just grazed the net at about 340 feet down the line. I haven't played against Kyle, but it appears to me he might have a little pop, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he is betting fourth for the police tonight. Cleanup hitter for the Chicago Police Department. Kyle Huber, number 19. First baseman. He takes a pitch low for the ball. So there's the walk. You don't want to start out with that. They say the dreaded leadoff walk, right? And they mean it. Here's Moy. 
Now batting number 22, the third baseman, Sean Moy. Here's Sean Moy. And as I mentioned, Clay Whiteley's right next to me doing the PA, so we appreciate him kind of being my backup uh, color guy tonight. Wonderful to have him. Ground ball foul. Hoping I'm not stepping on your toes, George. No, I appreciate it. so it. much fun because awesome. of your knowledge. It's fantastic. <laughs> and we're doing this for the guys, you know, for Absolutely. the guys in red, the guys in blue. And, you know, to put it on the Internet nowadays, it'll be there forever, which is wonderful. I thought the hard part was uh, in between the lines out there every year. This is the hard part, George. <laughs> well, it does take focus. Yeah, you know, you, you kind of get used to it, but you got to have a lot of notes like you have. <laughs> I brought everything, sticky notes, pencils, you name it, I have it. <laughs> There's a strike to Moy, one and two. One and two to Moy. Nothing in motion at first, it looks like. He's a big boy, I don't know how much speed he's got. Well, let's see if Vince Macias tries to do something here with the hit and run. Oh, nice Ooh. pitch. There you go. Nice pitch big there. Big deuce, big deuce. So big curveball there, the deuce. Boy, that ball broke about now, six man, inches. But Tempa's the kind of guy that can go deep at any minute. Huber's at first. One out. Working that outside corner. He's had a nice, generous zone on that side. Right. They got to put out the out, the out. They'll put it up in a minute here. That was straight back right in our booth. Off the wall, right off the pad. Messias right in the it. on deck circle here. Today. That's twice. He, he fouled a couple straight back before with some velocity. So yeah. he's he's seeing the ball well. Yep. Their captain, Vince Messias, is waiting in the on deck circle. Number 30. We want to thank Vince again for coming on WGN Radio with the Anna Diablanta Show and explaining this wonderful event. We hope to have him on for many years to come. Ah, he swings at one right field. Barry going quickly for it. Go. Oh, Barry go. slides into the area again, the padding. So a lot of balls down there tonight for some reason. All falling in that area, that never, never land. He's, uh, he's getting a workout out yeah. there in right field, that's for sure. He is. Tempo fooled on that. Right field's a tough position coming off a right uh, right handed hitter like because this. Because of the reverse yeah, spin, it's right. Just, coming, it just, it's a different animal. You think it's yeah. you know, you think it's the easiest position on the field, it but it's never a, comes it's a straight in. Never. Yeah. It's never coming at you. So here's Patempa, number thirty nine, big ready. He swings. There's one right up here. Play, and it's gonna land right here in front of us <laughs> in the first row. That was close. <laughs> that was the closest one. That was four feet to my left. So a nice lady here uh, wearing one of uh, Ella French's uh, police memorial jerseys <laughs> did catch that ball. So that's awesome. All right, Patempa back. Slightly open stance. Here's the pitch. He swings. He drives Hooked that. Foul. Way foul. That was hit. that was hammered. I believe there was one out, correct, George? Correct. One out man on first. Okay. Oh, two. He's in protect mode again. Right. The guy's on base. If you stay ahead, you're in good shape, even behind the plate. Deep backstop here at the uh, ballpark. Right. Guaranteed rate. Uh-oh. Oh, that hit him. That there just grazed his hip. Just enough. So if he, that's the one to get hit with, that's yeah, the one to get hit with. Yeah, I just grazed him. So first and second now. Huber moves to second. Potempa's on first. This is Big Vince. Macias, there is one out. Scoreboard is not correct. The left fielder, Vince Macias. Team captain in a spot to come through for the finest here. Yep. So 
So this is a very big potential inning for Vince Macias' team. There's one right down the middle. Vince takes it with the strike. Again, Kravitz seems to stay ahead of these hitters. He's been pounding that first pitch strike right. for the past three or four innings. Ground ball up the middle. Shorts up, grabs it, put the oh. second. Oh, he drops oh. it at second. Drops it at second. Oh, is he, he's angry. He throws the ball, and, 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 and they have to cover it up here. So the second baseman there dropped the flip play. That's 33. There is one out. The umpire just signaled to us. Yeah. Yeah, there's a strike. I knew which one it was. So that was a safe hit and a potential double play, but flubbed at second base. Now batting. Not this time, Brandon. Brandon Smith. My fat fingers with him. First pitch away. There is one out on the strikeout yeah, of a strike uh, on the curveball, right? The strikeout earlier to I believe oh, Sean Moy to struck Moy. out looking. Yeah, right. So there's one out, bases loaded. Good speed on the plate. Whoa, he swings from the heels Ooh. there, uh, my guy. As you Clay. A, <laughs> as we say, you get one swing for yourself, the rest <laughs> is for the team. That was his that was his swing. So <laughs> now it's two strikes, one out, uh, down by one. You got a little you got a chuck and duck here. He almost flew off flew out of the bitter's box that swing. Brandon Smith we're talking about, number 3-6. He swings and fouls it into the crowd over the first base dugout. Heck of a play by a fan right side. Of course. Brandon Smith looking to get some damage done here. Kravitz looking for the ground ball again after the uh, muff play at second. Yeah, the flip was good. Just missed the toss. There's a ball. And no. he takes it looking, strike he three. He does take it, so here we go again with two outs. Two outs. Moy and Smith. So it looked outside, but the umpire says, no, nope, that's caught the corner. So this is going to be no, Will Munoz. Huge strike out there with the bases loaded. Yep. Let's see if Kravitz stays ahead. I would say the ump's got a, a wider than normal strike zone, but again, it's 18 inches. On the swing. There's a strike. Two outs. Maybe there's a signal change here. Little crossed up, maybe. Okay. Man on second, they might change up the signals a right little bit. Right up a ahead knows the ball game yep. is doing something. Still ball players out there, no matter what level. Any edge you can get, trust me. I've seen it done. Yeah, just like years ago, <laughs> the big uh, big ride, Houston, with the oh, garbage can. Yeah. I mean, they did it, okay? 100%. <laughs> we just, read a, just finished a great book on that, actually. Did you? Yeah. yeah. It goes back not just to Houston. We're talking 1800s with boards buried in the ground at the third base coach. Oh Unbelievable. Gosh. What guys will do to, to win and, and give yourself an edge. Well, with cameras today and all the data they have, with the shifts and everything. And the, and the right now information, you know, just, I mean, yeah. like, Two years ago, spin rate wasn't even a thing, you know. Yeah. And they grip it tighter for some reason and revolutions and launch velocity, exit yeah. velocity, all that was launch yeah. angles. Yep. There's ground the ball ground up the ball. middle. It's gonna it get does through. squeak through. So here's run number one. It's going to be a play. No play. No play. So two runs. But Tempa does score. So two runs. And the Chicago Police take the lead. Two to one on the single. So that drop at second base by the second baseman, I think it was Pacerik, that's rough. Here comes Tony Budd. There's gonna be a timeout as Tony makes a decision here, two to, two to one. Nice solid base head right back up the middle. No chance of getting that back up, that back runner. That's that Will Munoz, their shortstop. Munoz with the base hit to center with two outs. That guy was running on the swing. Yeah. Had no chance to play at the plate. And here's Pagan who made the great tag on Tony Budvitas, the last inning, their big catcher, number 12. He's waiting for Tony Bud to finish his conference on the mound. 
What do you think he was talking about there, George? Let's say hey, it's think early. A slowdown, I think a slowdown. Yep. You know, you know him better than I. But I think it's just said, you know, hey, it is what it is. Don't worry. We'll come back. We're only, we are in the half point of the game. It is quite a time to go. We go nine in this game. We go nine. Now batting number 12, Jacob Pagan. So here's Pagan, number 12, announced by Clay Whiteley. We got a little action in the uh, right field, Bravest bullpen. Uh-huh. I believe that's Matt Lenzen of uh, St. Rita, gotcha. if I remember correctly. There's a ball to short. Got to come get it. Hop, quick, quick release. Oh, Todd with the great play That'll over there. That'll retire him, huh? Yeah, so he's retired, but gone. But in the inning, two runs on a couple key hits. It is now Chicago Police 2, Fire 1, George Blisk, Clay Whiteley. We'll be back right after this. Okay, Art Ross here. Tony Budvitas just stopped here in the uh, broadcast booth. So we we asked him, did he get you? He said, yeah, he tagged me. Pagan did get me. So being honest, one of the great ones, Tony Budvitas. Now we got Art Ross batting. Top of five. Fire is down now. Two to one. They did score two. The, uh, the uh, police in the bottom four. On some key hits. And a really rough error there at second base. There's the ball in the dirt. No, 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 no. After the bravest of them. Yeah. yeah, so John Catanzar is here saying hello to us as well. What's John going to do? John's going to come out and talk? Yeah, it looks like John's coming out to uh, present an award. Oh, wonderful. Um, from the Toronto Order of Police. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure who he's presenting it to. But whatever it is, it's worthwhile. I'm that's sure, for yeah. sure. I'm sure it's, uh, it's, it'll be cool. It's always uh, nice to recognize these guys. It is. I'm going to grab him after the award. I'll grab him around the neck and have him speak with us for about two seconds. Absolutely. Absolutely. So here's Art Ross, number 24. We are in inning five, top. There's one. Right in the booth, caught by our guy in the booth next, right next door to us. I don't know. I don't know. Wow, nice catch there, our guy from Twitch. Great catch. He used to play 16-inch softball. That's why you use two hands. Yeah. That's why you use two hands. That's awesome. <laughs> Art Ross, 24 with the foul ball that almost hit me on the head. But thank God it didn't. We got our guy next to us, the Twitch announcer, caught it. Ground ball to third. Fires to first for the out. So out number one, Ross grounds out. This is going to be Eddie Cochaney. Ed Cochaney. Let's see if Eddie can get something going. K O C H A N E Y. Tell me, tell me about Eddie. What you know about Eddie? I'll tell you. Uh, ground ball. Eddie likes to hit it to the pitcher. Yeah, ground ball, though, flam, quick throw to first for the up. But uh, you've worked with most of these I, guys. Eddie was actually one of my candidates back in the day as well. Right. He's a local uh, Bridgeport kid, I believe. Oh, great. So a big, big fan base here tonight. Yeah. It's great to talk to Clay Whiteley, who does the uh, academy director, the commander of the academy. So he knows just about every single firefighter that applies for the job and comes through the uh, training. So here's Dakota Pacerek. Here's Dakota. How long have you been the uh, commander over there at the uh, academy? Yes, yeah, I've been doing that for, I, I, I've taught there for many years uh, on and off. But uh -huh. uh, they, they offered me the position of uh, commander of academy operations. And uh, right. I may have been the only one they cho uh, that stepped up <laughs> and did it. It's a lot of but paperwork, huh? It is, it's, yeah. a lot, it's a lot of moving parts, but I got right. a lot of really great guys I work with that make Ground it ball the third off the third baseman's glove. It trickles into the left field corner. He's going to try for two, and he makes it. He dives in, uh -huh. and he's safe. Little overthrow, but backed up there, backed up. So Dakota comes up with, with a nice play there. Dakota with good speed, pushed it, looking for something to happen. Maybe that's a catalyst we need. Petretti, yep. always a solid at bat coming up, so you got scoring it. position. Now batting 
Number 15, the shortstop, Dan Pedretti. So Pedretti was the one that tossed it to Dakota for that little bobble that was costly. Let's see if these two guys can come right back and wipe it off the map, as we say. And it'll happen. It happens often, right? They they well, make amends as they say. You, you yeah. got you're only as good as your last at bat. You're only as good as your last play. If uh, so true, got to have a short memory. That's what they say. And a thick skin. That's it. Danny Pedretti, P E D R E T T I, number fifteen. I mean, you know, this this is a key guy, your shortstop for your team. Pedretti does choke just a little bit, the wooden bat. Still waiting for La Flame to throw. La Flame in the stretch. There's a shot to right field. It is do. down, yeah. Here comes a play. No. Nope. Doesn't look like there's going to be a throw. Yeah, he does score Job easily. Done. Yeah. So, what did I talk about? The guys that are up in the middle came right back. So now we got a tie game, and guess who's up? Number 18, Bud Vitus. So here's Tony Budd with a guy on first and a run was scored. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Tony's going to be swinging away all the Tony's way Tony's going to be, yeah. yeah, two outs, man on first. He's looking to drive the ball in the gap somewhere. I know he wants to make amends for that play at the plate. So Yeah. There goes the runner. runner going. Oh, it does Ball's in the him. dirt. And he does make it easily. Yeah, so the ball did touch the camera. We're okay, though. Right, guys, over there? Hey, here yeah. we go. I know. <laughs> See, thank God it just hit the net, basically, right? Yeah. So, but Vitus hits a foul tip. It hits the net. And if you watch on Twitch later in the broadcast, you'll see that it kind of just jarred the camera. <laughs> the, the, the camera's sitting on a tripod, but it's okay. They have an engineer here. There's a swing by Vitus. Line drive. The third baseman for the out. Can't so, square it up. Vitus, yeah, square it up big. So we're going to be going into the next half inning, but it's a tie game out here at Guaranteed Rate. We'll be back right after this. So we are back. John Cat and Zara just gave a wonderful plaque award to the Yanez family. And uh, just, it's very emotional. I'm going to try to get Mr. Cat and Zara in the booth. Uh, it's really incredible as they're taking pictures. So let's grab John. So, John, wonderful tribute there to the Yanez family. Thank you. That was wonderful. Um, it, it's just there's something different about all of this, and we need to capitalize on the memory and not let it go to waste. Um, the sacrifices our officers make every day, and the fire department for that matter, they can't go unremembered or unnoticed or unappreciated. And it's not going to happen on my watch. And we can turn the city around, and, you know, we, there's a lot of support for you, my friend, and you're going to help us do it. I'm certainly going to spend every waking hour I got, as long as I'm here, to make something different go on. John Catanzara, I love you, brother. FOP7, the great, the great president of FOP7 who stopped by the booth. So George Bliss here. We're very happy that John stopped by to have a few words for us. John Catanzara, president of FOP7. That was really something. I'm very proud that John stopped to say hello to us. Well, we're back to live action here. Bottom of fifth. This is can two. It was really nice that uh, President Catanzara stopped by to oh, say wonderful. hello. Wonderful. It, it, uh, it's got something to be said. Uh, you get guys like that showing up you could tell it's a very emotional thing a very emotional time and this game's always carried a lot of emotion i mean uh, we we are all play for the same team as in essence but uh it means a lot for uh, the fans and the, and the kids and the families to be out here absolutely unfortunately so every year we sorry to unfortunately every year we add names to this list and uh it, it's unfortunate and it's the nature of the of a profession we all choose but Fair ball, right side, Cantu, down the line. Way to hold him to one. 
So, yeah, so I was just talking to John here, and thanks for taking the mic for a second there, Clay. So Mar Marino Cantu, number two, does get the big hit. So we got a tie game here, for God's sakes. What's better than that? Now batting number one, the center fielder, Alex Neufeld. So here's Alex Neufeld, who had the great throw that knocked out Tony Budvitas earlier in the game. So here's their center fielder. And, of course, he is the leadoff batter for the police department. It is bottom of five. You can't have a better there game. Two, two, there goes the runner. Oh, good hit and run. Hit and Might run. Have, a lot of speed. Throw to first. Nice Does move the runner, though. So beautiful hit and run. As Cantu was off and running, the ball did go to the right side. Cantu just got under it and did get into second standing up. Throw over to yeah, first was close. Sweeney. Yeah, so here's Sweeney. As I said, Clay Whiteley doing PA system and back up with me. My partner, just wonderful that he came with us tonight. Once again, you see the finest players on the move. Yep. Uh, opened up that hole on the right side. Great play by Pacerik, showing his speed to get over there and get that ball. You got it. Ball oh, there's back. a ball that gets away. And Cantu does get the third easily. So Cantu, who started out with a single, got the second on the move up, and now has moved over to third on the pass ball. Now we change. Now the bad bat changed. Man on third, one out. Sweeney yep. with one job to do, something on the right side of the infield. Well, I'll tell you what, the 44 from Red needs now. He needs a strikeout he, right absolutely. now. Infield in. Yeah. Way in there on the grass. If it goes down the right side, you know they're coming home with it. I love that the uh, defense is aggressive enough that, hey, we're going to cut this guy down. We're not, we're not laying down here. Yeah. This should be interesting. If it's a slow roll or short or whatever. There's a swing big and a hand, miss. Yeah. Hand. So right now the fate is in 44's hands. The kid from Mount Carmel seems calm as hell out there, doesn't he's, he? He's very, uh, very even keeled. He's been through high level ball games, so he's cool. Outside. I had some uh, records down at U of I a few years back. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you which ones they were, but I know he was, he was uh, highly recruited out of U of I. Fantastic. Wow. There's a ball right up the middle to the pitcher. He Four holds the home, runner. Coming. Oh, and he does score. So, explain that to me. Though he, he did look him back. He fired over to your buddy at first, number 29, and then he, he was coming. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, now batting number 31, Dave Matthews. Cantu scored on that one. Wow, that's kind of a shocker. Um, if you notice on the uh, comebacker, yeah. uh, he looked Kravitz back. looked him back and almost it looked like he had something to say. I wasn't happy about him being on third, turned it through to first, and... Um, I think it was a maybe just a little lapse of uh, a little uh, lapse of judgment at the veteran first baseman, not thinking that guy was going to go home on that, and uh, ah. couldn't turn and pull the trigger. Good speed, good lead, I'm good at good base running. And there's a shot right there to the go. first baseman. So there's so, that karma. Yeah, there's karma. So wow, back to back plays at first base, but one run scored for police department. They go ahead three to two. Three to two. We'll be back right after this. Okay, so George Bliss, we're back. Top of six. Here's Todd Shuchuk, who made a great stab on a line drive to retire the police department on the last half inning. But if I know did Todd. score a run, three to two. Three to two, please. There's Todd, oh, ground there ball. Is. Yeah, Todd ball right up the middle to the pitcher. And for the out. I know he was looking for something to happen. New pitcher. You're basically the leadoff guy all over again to see what this guy's got. So, right back to the pitcher, Rafferty, 1-3 on the number put out. Eight, number four, the third baseman, Brian Maledek. So, Brian Maledek, who's had a pretty good game so far. Brian's had a nice night at the dish tonight. Yep, very good defensively as well. Solid player. So, Rafferty's almost got a uh, three-quarter delivery, it looks like, from where I'm at. Totally different look on the ball. Yeah, less velocity and a lot more movement from what yeah. it looks like. The good players will pick this up real quickly. 
and adjust. Score three to two, finest three, bravest two. We're at guaranteed rate field, top of six. There's Maledic with a foul ball, number four. Fouls it off, one and two. We're here with Clay Whiteley, as I mentioned many times. Here's truly George Bliss. We want to thank President John Catanzara, who just stepped in the booth the last half inning with a beautiful speech. That'll catch him. And that hits him, so Maledic gets hit. Oh, HBP. Yeah, hit by pitch. So number four gets hit. It's as good or better than a walk, as you say in the league. Here's number five, Noel. So Noel is batting. Now batting number five, Marty Noel. So here's Marty Noel batting for Lauren. Jeez. Ground ball. No base. One out at second and no base at first, so fielder's choice there. Nice Marty clean Noel. play on both ends there. Munoz with a nice pick at short, taking right. a knee. Good turn. Throw a little high. Noel getting down the line well. Sets us up with a one on. Two outs. And do up is supposed to be Frank Defino. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see Defino again. It is Frank. Okay. Zero. Now betting the catcher. Number zero. Frank Defino. Well, here's Defino. D-E-F-I-N-O. They need something here. They're down by one. Sixth inning. Got a pinch, runner. pinch run over there at first. 17. Number 17. Maybe. Yeah, Turrentine is back in basically yeah. as a runner. Rotating in, trying yeah. to get everybody a piece of the field, too. Great, That's a, Great rule, great it's, rule. It's one of the uh, thrills of playing here is uh, even some of the newer guys, let's say, we always try to keep it fair no matter what the score of the game is at the time. We want to be competitive, but one guy's have fun, too. Yep. Oh, right. Nice pitch up around the shoulders, but swings and misses, swings through it. Swung right through that one. Yep. Got to protect here. So Rafferty with a totally different delivery, different look. Ball comes in at a different angle. We're right behind home plate, so we see it. Good spot to miss there. Yeah. Home plate umpire has been liking that outside corner. All night. It's a good spot to miss there. Umpire Vincent, I believe, is his last name. Way outside. Runs it to two and two. So two and two, two outs. Two, two, two on the beautiful scoreboard in left field here at guaranteed rate. Look, Guys don't steal much on the Braves, but look for Turrentine to maybe be on the move with this 2-2. Two, two. Yep, he's a center fielder. He should be fast. There's a swing Shot and a line drive. Line. Ooh, yeah, that's Hooking foul. foul, just be on third base. Wow. Got around on that. Yeah, Defino was looking there for that angle. He did get it. Not a really big lead over there at first. Two outs. Ground ball to short. A lot of work Picked short up. tonight. Fired the first. And Caught over it. there by a nice defensive play there by their first baseman for the police. So nothing going. Still three to two. We'll be back right after this. We return to action here. Police versus fire. Bottom of six, three to two, the finest leading. Here's their big first baseman, Huber, number 19. Kravitz is still in there for red. I'd love to see their pitch counts. Like We got enough going on here, but I'd love to see where they're at. It's up there. I, I may have had some inside information. I heard Kravitz was going to try to go six or seven. That was, uh, But I may be on the inside track of that, George. I can't confirm or deny. If he goes seven, that's a heck of an effort. Yeah. That's, a, that's a major league effort right there. I think you deal with the heart of the order here. Most of the damage has been in the bottom half of their order. Yep. So Huber wearing number 19. 
pretty slick at first base tonight. I got to tell you, he's made some great plays over there. Kyle Huber, lefty, Chicago police officer. Let's see what Kyle can do with this pitch. He swings, drives it down the left field line, but it does skip foul into the seats way down. Way past the tarpaulin down the left field line. Beautiful crowd tonight. As we approach the about 8.45 p.m. time, just for historical reasons, September 23rd, 2021, this incredible game between the bravest and the finest at guaranteed rate. Kravitz wondering where that call was. Working yep. that back door slider. There's a shot to right by Huber, and he's having a big night. So Nice base hit to right. Yeah, he crushed that one to right. A no doubter. Now so here's Moy, Sean Moy. Sean Moy now with no outs and Huber at first. I know Kravitz probably has to be a little frustrated after not getting that last strike and then puts one over the plate and has to send that ball in the right field. Now we're looking one on, no outs in heart yeah. of the order. Now's when the defense has got to step up. Can they get a 6 4 3 here? Let's see if they can do it. 5 4 3 would be fine, too. There's the 5. Hey, there we go. There's the 4. And there's the. Scoop. Got him. Out! The 5 4 3 just like that called an incredible play there. As the first baseman that is now in there, we got a new guy. 30. That's your guy. That's one of your, your classic guys. That's Jimmy Rodriguez. Catch it for a space. Rodriguez with a great play there. So Jaime Rodriguez, yes, as he scoops it off with the double play. And Rodriguez is joyful out there as he took the ball in the dirt and scooped it out. So great play there so far. And what about the timing on that one? They took out Todd, put in uh, that good-looking guy at number 30, and he scoops it right out. Wow. Handsome Jaime at third. Nice. Uh, yeah. Nice scoop at third, six four three. Rack them up. Turn, yeah. turned like well, it took like forever, but a great scoop, great play on the front end. Oh, that Good was, pitch by that was John. a thing of beauty there. Well, these times, you know, you played at all levels from grade school all the way up. Things like that do motivate you, do they not? I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. They pick the team defense up. If you can run into the dugout after after you know, if he gets this out here, the guys are going to be amped yeah. and ready to go. You know. Um, well, the thing to take away from this is we play in a lot of different fields, but playing on a pro-level field like oh, this yeah. plays much, much faster than what we're used to. There's nothing like momentum, right? No one can ever define it, but it's real. Absolutely, absolutely. And whether it's a, it's a, a guy breaking up a play, even the play at the plate when they got uh, Bud Vitus at home, that that that, oh. that brings the crowd to life. It brings the team to life. Yeah. You know, we're still competing out here, you know. That last play brought me to life. That was an excellent defensive play there. There's Potempa straight up, way up. Elevator shaft, way up. Oh, catcher can't handle it. Defino, he had it the last second. The ball had that reverse English that you learned in high school, the banana. He just missed it by off his glove tip. One of the hardest plays in baseball to make, the catcher turn and make that play. On a high sky, a big stadium you're not used yeah. to, difficult play. Now, should have Rodriguez taken that, uh, Clay? In a in a perfect world, if we're it, yeah, if yeah. we're in a, if we were in a perfect world, he has the better angle. Uh, it He's took, coming in, yeah. And the catcher has a hard time uh, locating it. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. There's a swing. Yeah, now a little up. payback, a little two hand action there. Some Just a little pop up to third. So they get out of that one quickly. Potempa pops out. Nothing happening here. Clay Whiteley, George Bliss, the crew from Twitch TV. Yeah. We're all here having fun. We'll be back right after this. We return to beautiful guaranteed rate. Morales swings at the first pitch for the single. So Morales, number 42 with the big single on the very first pitch off of Rafferty. So the Bravest do start it out on pitch one with the hit. Here's Barry, number 12. Now batting, number 12. John Barry. Barry's been playing first base tonight. Uh, I've checked that right field and has been going uh, quite a defensive player out there. Here's John Barry, B-A-R-R-Y. 
Let's see if John can get his buddy Morales over to third. He bunts, he squares, and he takes it for a strike. So they do have the bunt play on, but didn't make contact on that pitch, John Barry. Rafferty pitching in at third. He bunts it, foul. So quickly, two strikes on Barry. Will Barry be swinging? Or will Coach Tony Bidvitas tell him, lay it down anyway with two strikes? Let's see what we're doing here. Rafferty in the stretch and the pause. Strike three. So first two pitches, he did not get the bunt down. Third pitch was on the corner for the strikeout. So one out. There's Cochini. There's Cochini. So if Cochini can get Morales around, that would be a big plus for fire. We got a courtesy win over at first right now, by the way. There's a ground ball up the middle. Second for one, throw to first. Oh, they do pull the double play there. The police with a slick defense, second to short to first for the double play, and that ends it for this half inning. Still the score. Police, three, fire, two. We'll be back in the bottom of the seventh right after this. Okay, we're back. Bottom of seventh. Alvarez is going to be betting next, number 13. Here's Vince Macias. And Brandon Smith is going to take a little pause, and Alvarez is going to bat for him. Kravitz still out there. Yep. So let's see if Vince can help his team as the captain. Vince Macias, again, we extended tremendous amount of congratulations to this young police officer for organizing this event. Beautiful, beautiful tonight. Everything done perfectly. Vince Macias. Uh, George, and we started this 21 years ago now. 21 we years. Never really thought it would turn into something like this. This is uh, this is really a sight to see from from day one of our uh, sleeveless jerseys of uh, <laughs> O'Leary's All Stars till now. Of course, Eric Diaz, many years. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You notice. Uh, oh, and Vince out. goes down. Yeah. So Vince does go out. Here's Alvarez, pinch hitting for Smith. Now batting number 13, Javier. Alvarez. So here's Javi Alvarez. It was our first base coach tonight was Louis Bongiorno. Oh. Number 10. He was actually one of yeah. our uh, founding fathers. Ground ball to second. Fielded cleanly by Becerric. Throw to first. Right. Number two. Bongiorno pitched big time in college too, did he not? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, he ended up being our shortstop for a few years after that. Um, I believe Danny Sheehan's here tonight in, in attendance oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we gotta we even uh, we move on but never move away. You know what I mean? It's, a, right. it's, a, it's still a tight knit team. Here's Munoz, their shortstop, who's had a big night defensively. Will Munoz? Now batting number sixteen, Will Munoz. So I'll recap it for you. It's three to two. Bottom of seven. Ground ball to short, backhanded and fired to first. Way up high. Air mails it over the top, but backed up there nicely by fire catcher backed up. So he does not advance the second. So beautiful back up there by the catcher for the fire department. Is that that throw was shortstop was thrown way over the head of the first baseman. So an error there on the shortstop. I think we're going to get an appearance by the uh, starting pitcher at the plate. Oh, yeah. Sure, that's what LaFlame, we got it, number 50. Now batting number 50, Tyler LaFlame. So Tyler LaFlame is going to bat here. 
which is really a nice way to get everybody involved. Absolutely. And it's again, it's it's there's a lot of personalities, but at the end of the day, it's about the charity and uh, having fun out there and still be having the opportunity to play in a beautiful stadium like this in front of our friends and families. You got it. So here's Tyler LaFlame, L-A-F-L-A-M-M-E, Tyler LaFlame, number 50, who pitched very well earlier tonight for the police department. Rafferty is pitching now. So you had LaFlame and Rafferty tonight so far as the starting pitchers, you might say. Rafferty came in in relief. Still ways to go. After, after he settled down, had a nice uh, nice cruise through two, three, four innings there after his first inning. Right. There goes the runner. Throw to second. Runner does beat some Munoz, steals second base cleanly. Throw, a little high. Munoz, the shortstop, slides in safely. And I guess those that don't know baseball, you can kind of see, as long as he had one strike, you have that green light of that runner, he can take that pitch, sure. one strike two, but now you got a runner in scoring position with two outs. Yeah, he has a benefit. I'll see if Tyler can swing at this one. There it goes. He does swing and he misses. So, they do get out of it. Nothing happening there. Still three to two out here at Guaranteed Rate. George Bliss, Clay Whiteley. We'll be back right after this. George Bliss here. We have a new pitcher for the Chicago Police Department, number 55. 5-5, five, five, Santos Ruiz. Eighth inning. Six more outs for the fire department. Here's Dakota Pacerik. First pitch swings. Foul ball. Taps it to the third base dugout. So 55 is a righty, Ruiz. This is the third pitcher tonight. They had Rafferty, they had Laflame, and of course now Ruiz. So Chicago, please come with three pitchers. It's more private event, they know. A very close game tonight. Three runs, seven hits for police. Two runs, eight hits, one error. For the fire department, so three seven and zero, oh, two eight and one. Little stirring in the uh, left field CPD bullpen. Yep. Ruiz right down the middle. There's a fly ball, medium left. A lot of space to cover. Yeah, and caught out there and left. By Dave Matthews, who's now over in left field. Now batting number two. So here's Pedretti. Three to two. One out. Top of the eighth inning. Fire needs to get something started now. Definitely down our, our last five outs here. Got to get something going. See if they can get Ruiz's ball up in the zone and get, get some wood on it. Don't know much about Ruiz. I've never seen him. I don't know. No. Nope. Well, Vince Macias is pulling guys out of a hat because he's got a, a deep pitching staff. Three Situation very solid guys. There, yes, yeah, three sure. solid guys tonight. Another sharp. Another nice play by third. Yeah, shot the third. Throw over to first for the out. At first base, you got double zero go. over Tied there as well. Tie us up. Tie it up. So McKinney's over at first base now for the uh, police department. McKinney, double zero at now first base. Tony. Well, here's a shot for Tony Budvitus. He's their captain, he's their leader. He put a charge in one in the first inning. Wearing number 18, if Tony can get a hold of one here, the crowd will wake up quickly. All Tony needs to do is get one in the gap. He needs to get one in the gap right now. He can, he can go. Yeah, so Tony Budvitus. It does call the strike on the half swing. One and one. We know that Tony Bud can go deep here. Tony turns on one here. We could get we could tie a tie ball game. Yep. Low and outside for the strike. Tony does swing and miss. So one and two. Not a particularly good swing by Tony Bud, but. And you say it year after year, all you need is one good swing by their captain. They'll be right back in it. Not going to see anything good here. 
way outside. See a plethora of breaking balls to Tony now until he can set himself up for that fastball count, see what we can do. That's what Ruiz is doing. Number 5-5 five, five, pitching now for Priest. That's way low. Bud Vitus does not offer at it. So we do go to full count with two outs, and you know, this is what makes it exciting. Something's going to happen here, Clay. Now we're in business. Something one way or another will happen. Bud Vitus swings. Not the guy Fair ball. Throw to first. Does grab it and gets it Tony on the shoulder for the out. McKinney over there. Nice play by the first baseman, zero. That's McKinney. So, nothing happening there as they do retire the fire department. We go to the next half inning. George Bliss, Clay Whiteley will be right back. So, we, we're here to the bottom of the eighth inning. Can two, number two, is batting to start off the inning. Marino Cantu, lefty, very fast, made a great running play earlier tonight when he was on third base, scored from third on a one hopper back to the pitcher who looked him back, they threw to first, but Cantu did come home after that, did make it easily, so Cantu, very smart runner. Cantu swings as a pop up in playable. the infield, playable third base, Malay Malatic, right? Yeah. Third. That's Maletica third for out number one. So we are in the bottom of eight. Bottom of eight. Here's top of the finest order. Yep. Now batting number one, the center fielder, Alex Newfound. Alex made a great throw home earlier in the game to cut down Tony Budvitus by a hair, and it was one of the best plays you'll ever see. So big part of the defense tonight is this young man, Alex Newfeld, wearing number one. And he is the center fielder for Macias's police team. That's the outside low strike that that umpire likes to call. That's the spot. That is yeah. the spot. To, that's, it, the, that's the pitch to beat right there. And it's working. Yep. Yeah. There it is again. Foul right side. Right. So here we are in the eighth inning. And 44, the kid is still throwing, Clay. I mean, he's still going. John Kravitz is out there dealing. I, I give him that. Yeah. He's staying ahead of these guys and uh, really not a whole lot of trouble up to this point. And his velocity has not gone down whatsoever that I noticed. Still right, right up there. So this kid's going to be a great one for I hope so. fire for many years I to come. I hope so. He's, yeah. uh, he's, got a, he's got a great arm. He's, uh, he's got good technique. Is he a new fireman? Yeah, he's yeah. got, um, I think he has maybe two years on the job now. He, I was, gotcha. uh, he was a candidate of mine about a year ago, I believe. Mm -hmm. So he's probably got two years out in the street right now. That's um, still considered kind of a rookie, though, no? Yeah. There's a shot, the left center field. Deep center, but caught out there by the center fielder. Nice so play. nice play. Nice play, tailing away from him in the left center field gap. Yeah. Drove that ball nicely. Alex drove it real well. Kevin Sweeney. So here's Sweeney with two outs. And we're anticipating the big ninth inning. If Fire can come up with a run to tie it. And maybe two to go ahead. But so far, police department leading by one run, three to two. Three runs, seven hits, no errors. Two runs, eight hits, one error for the fire department. That's a beautiful stat line there, George. It's classic. You can't split it. The game is close as can be. A lot of hits, not a lot of runs. Right. It's uh, good good pitching, good hitting all the way around. Good baseball. And the defense is, is for both sides has done quite well tonight. And why wouldn't he? They're all they're all good on these teams. Everybody's good. Somewhere, somehow in their life, they always played very well at what they've done. They're great firemen. They're great police officers. They're here tonight on big stage. What a wonderful event. There's a ground ball, charge. third charge, throw to first, scoop, scoop nice for the play out again by yeah. Carr. Who's that? At that's uh, number thirty. Um, great scoop, great pickup. 
Yeah. You know, it's Milady That's he Rodriguez. Up, he had to, he had to give up a little ground to make that throw, and uh, short hopped it in the right spot. So Rodriguez does catch it. We go to the ninth inning. We'll be back with that right after this. Now pitching for the finest, number 99. So we're here on the ninth Eight. inning, Holy. and they bring in their fourth pitcher of the night, Clay, number 99, Holman, H-O-L-M-A-N, first name Nate. So four pitchers tonight for the police department. Macias has shown four righties at the fire department. So this is it, ninth inning, one run game. Here is gonna be Todd Shuchuk, number 29, who's back in now batting as they rotate at first base there a little bit. So Holman batting, Todd, 29, shoot Chuck, ready to go. This is it, this is for all the marbles. First pitch right down the middle. So Holman on the mound, he pitches, he delivers as a shot. Third base dugout foul. The fire department needs any kind of a run, Clay. I mean, desperate knee. Desperate yeah. knee to send us the extras. Let's take the lead. Yeah. Hasn't been the year of the closer in uh, Major League Baseball, though. No, true. So, uh, 99 seems like a closer number. <laughs> the wild thing. <laughs> you remember that. Nate Holman, H-O-L-M-A-N. So here's Todd, 29, trying to get his team back in the game here. One swing, double, triple. Anything will work. There's a swing, ground ball to second. Out for the simple put out there. Can two to the first mission Huber for out number one. So here's number four. Maladic. The third baseman, Brian. Had a nice game over there at the corner today. Yep. Well, they're depending on BM to get something now. There's a slow there it is. curve for the that outside corner. Yeah, for the outside corner. Strike one. One out. Ninth inning. Ground ball to short. Picked up cleanly. Fired the first. Four out number two. This is handled over there by their super first baseman, Kyle Huber. He's got glue on his glove over there. Very adept first baseman for sure. Shortstop the first tonight's been a real strong combination for Vince Macias' team. Gives it up to Noel. Number five is going to bat now. K-N-O-L-L, -L, Noel. Now batting number five, Marty Noel. Here's Marty Noel, the last shot. Four. The fire department. Ground ball. Third base. Taken over there. Fired the first. Out. And that's it. That's it. Three to two. A classic game out here at Guaranteed Rate Field. As Vince Macias leads his team to a thriller. Final score. The finest. Three. The bravest. Two. I want to thank Clay Whiteley. All our good friends from the Twitch TV network. Yours truly, George Bliss. All the folks from FOP, all the wonderful firemen and police officers, and the families, of course. Johnny Cat and Zara stopped by for a few seconds. It was a wonderful, wonderful night here again at the ballpark. On behalf of everybody in the city of Chicago, Vince Macias from the police team. Tony Budvitas from the fire department. These are great Americans and great Chicagoans. God bless them both. This is George Bliss. We'll see you on the next broadcast. Wow, we're here with number 16, Will Munoz, shortstop for the police department.
MVP tonight. Wonderful job by you. And you got a beautiful watch. Yeah, it was all around team effort. Um, we knew we were going to be facing a tough pitcher, fresh out of college, just joined uh, the fire department. So we knew this wasn't going to be the same as previous years. Um, so we just had to come together, put some good at bats, and uh, hopefully the, b the ball falls our way, and it did today. Some slick double plays by the third baseman, and you, yeah. that made the difference, I think, yeah. that 6-4-3 that you pulled late in the game. That was a good one. Yeah, very very good defense this game. Uh, only one error by both teams, clean baseball. Um, that's, what you, that's all you can ask for when uh, when you got 10,000 people coming out to support. So it's a great, great Beautiful game. night out here, isn't it? Yeah. The, the weather uh, stayed with us. Uh, clear skies. It was good, good, good weather for baseball, perfect weather. MVP, Will Munoz. God bless. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Pleasure.